horizontal lines than if it's with the wider body. You can always yeah, you get that to look too squatty. Yeah, it's a real fun. Uh, oh, gee, you have a trim on you. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a Diana, I'm at Sun and Fun with my brother Ken Worrell, who's flown his RV6 down from Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> I was just playing with plane. Hi, what an honor to be here on this uh, film video footage. My airplane here, it's exciting, very exciting. It's the first time I've actually been able to fly to Sun and Fun after uh, 12 years and 11 months building this project. It took 4,720 hours of building time, which was mostly done between 9.30 at night and 1.30 in the morning during the course of those years. Uh, all of the work here was done by myself. It was a slow build kit, which means it comes as stock blocks of aluminum and sheets of aluminum, which you are required to bend, drill, rivet, uh, deburr, sand, and prime and paint. I did all the work, including engine installation, the wiring. Um, also did the paint finish work, uh, the epoxy fiberglass work, and uh, just very excited to be here. Really new project. The plane has a 180 horsepower engine in it. it. Flies 210 miles an hour, max speed. I typically cruise at 180. Uh, the plane weighs 1,031 pounds. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. It's a very exciting airplane and I really enjoy flying it. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you, Dr. Diana, for the interview. Dr. Diana wanted me to tell you a little bit about the instruments in the airplane. The most important instruments right here is what they kind of call the six pack, and that's your airspeed. You always need to know how fast you're going. This is your attitude indicator, which shows the horizon and the relationship of the plane to the horizon when you're flying. This is your altimeter. And as you get higher and higher, this will just start rotating and rotating until your height. Vertical speed indicator, as you climb, this will move up and it will show that you're climbing 1,000 feet per minute or you're going down. The plane's in a cocked attitude, so it's, this isn't actually operating. Heading indicator is a gyro, and when the gyro gets going, this plane points in the direction that you're actually flying. This right here is a GPS, which has a moving map in it. It shows me where I am at all times in relationship to the Earth. So it's a pretty neat. This is my radio, so I can communicate with towers. And this is my transponder, which sends signals to radar. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Those are my engine instruments over there. Tells you what's going on with the engine during flight. 